Well, now, the Indian Space Research Organization has launched its PSLV C-56 DSR mission. The launch took place from the first launch pad in Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle carried seven Singaporean satellites with DSR, a radar imaging Earth observation satellite being the primary satellite for the mission. Joining us uh, on the phone line is my colleague Darini. Darini, of course, a crucial mission for ISRO and... Well, everyone talks about the money being spent by ISRO, but commercial missions like these, of course, bring in a lot of revenue for the space agency as well. Yes, definitely. This is the uh, 431st foreign satellite, uh, you know, a launch from the country by ISRO. And definitely the, uh, the, uh, the uh, private launches are uh, taking India's name across the global uh, forum. Uh, you know, uh, today, uh, seven satellites have been uh, put in the right orbit by ISRO through uh, PSLV C-56. And uh, this is the 56th commission of the PSLV rocket is what we're given to understand. And, uh, the main satellite here is... Uh, uh, the DSHAR satellite, which is from Singapore, and this weighs 360 uh, kilograms, and uh, you know, it was launched into a near equatorial orbit, that is the near orbit at an altitude of 535 kilometers. Uh, and you know, as we know, this is the Singaporean satellite, and this uh, satellite uh, uh, will enable high resolution, cap uh, you know, uh, high resolution capability uh, to the Singapore government while assessing the damage caused by natural disasters, monitor land use, track deforestation, and support security and defense operations is what they want to understand. So, uh, high resolution photographs uh, during uh, times of uh, need uh, is what uh, this satellite is known for, and this will definitely help the Singaporean government to monitor their uh, uh, geographical uh, landscape in a much uh, you know better way. So, apart from uh, this, these uh, they are uh, six other co passenger satellites are also uh, launched uh, by uh, PSLVC. Six and all the seven satellites have been put into the right orbits at uh, 20 minutes after the launch is what they given to understand. And as I told, this is uh, uh, the nation's 431st and you know, foreign satellite uh, launch and uh, you know uh, 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 second launch happening in this month. If you remember earlier this month, we had a massive launch of Chandrayaan uh, 3 and following that within uh, you know two to one and a half feet itself, we're having another big commercial launch. So definitely India's name is flying high uh, you know, in the space sector across the global floor Amanda. You know, uh, we have to wait and see what is going to happen in the next few months. And we also have another big launch scheduled for India, that is the uh, uh, mission Aditya. Uh, India's sun uh, mission that is going to take place in the next uh, you know, a few months is what uh, ISRO Chief Sonat had told us earlier. So uh, ISRO is having launches after Absolutely. launches continuously, uh, beat government launches, uh, private launches. So uh, definitely we have to look forward to how uh, a mission Aditya is going yes. to pan out. Absolutely, Darini. Thanks a lot uh, for all of that information. A very happy weekend for the Indian Space Agency as it has successfully launched a new commercial mission with seven Singaporean satellites.